I believe that's everybody, yes? Okay, then I'll do the honours. Drum roll, please. The first name is Yardley. And then McLeish. Barra. Smith B. Smith K. Sugdu. And one more. Mossop. Gentlemen and lady, that concludes the draw for the protective vests. Okay, off you go. See you, didn't me? It's not fair. It's not fair. Well, it bloody well isn't. He always wins. Fair's fair, Dave. That's it. I'm calling internal affairs. It's a fix. He's won every time for the last three weeks. I never get the vest. What can I say? I live a charmed life. I want a vest, Sarge. You know that's not possible. I want a protective vest! There aren't enough to go around, you know that. Well, someone can't be talked with the last order. Anyway, there'll be a new batch through in a couple of weeks, and until then... You'd keep me wits about me, mate. I'd keep me wits about you. You're not helping, Terry, do you know that? Look, I want a good morale with this relief. Sorry, Sarge. Just thinking about poor Williams last week. Gunned down in cold blood by the Gung Ho brothers. But Williams survived. He was wearing a vest. Paid for out of his own pocket, Dave. He wasn't issued one, but he used his initiative. Now, if you don't want the sidewalk sniper to get you, you'd be wise to do the same. Oh, don't start with those sidewalk sniper rumors again. Look, they should issue me with a bloody bulletproof vest. The least they can do when I'm out there risking my life, tackling scumbags. I'm not forking out my hard-earned cash for something I'm entitled to. Your Scottish heritage is shown again, Dave. Enough, enough, ladies. Just get out there and do your jobs, will you? And Dave, Sarge, try and stay upbeat, will you? How cool is this? How cool is what? The vest. I found out this baby will stop 9mm and 357 Magnum. That's Magnum rounds. And provides 42 joules of protection from knives and needles. Now that's what I call cool. There's no need to gloat. What was all that dead meat stuff back at the station? What's all that about? It's your new nickname, mate. Oh, well, you what? How did I get that? Everyone on the relief gets a nickname. You've got Columbo Pete, Pigpen, Killer, Halfcock, and you've been christened dead meat on account of the fact that you never get the vest and are thus most likely to uh, take one in the chest. Oh, nice. I bet you're behind all this. I don't make the rules up, Dave. I must admit, it has a nice ring to it. Watch out, dead meat! There's a sniper over there, dead meat! Shut up! Hey! You can't take a joke, you can't take a bullet!
my God, two real life British Barbies. Oh, can we have our picture taken with you? Certainly, ladies. It's all part of the service. Okay, Ellie, you get this one. I'll get the next one in with you. Okay. okay. okay Constable, you stand just right there. Furnish, you go in over there. Wow. You British cops sure know how to look the part. Our boys back home don't get these. Well, you have to be well prepared in a city like London, you know. They're hardcore gangsters, terrorists, snipers. Can we go on with this, please? Okay, bunch of guys, I'm gonna get you all in. Okay, say cheesy peas. Cheesy peas. <laughs> Anything interesting this weekend? Yeah, I was thinking of asking Claire out. You know that dental hygienist. Ooh, her. Nice one. Oh, cheers, mate. Glad you approve. <laughs> Certainly do. Ooh, I'll check out the one somewhere. Ah, die, Bill! What the hell are you doing? Now, what if I meant that for real? What if I wasn't your partner, but a crazed police-hating psychopath? You'd be dead right now. From a sodding butter knife? In the wrong hands, it's still a deadly weapon. You know, I'm getting sick of your antics. Look at my jumper. Yes, in your panic state, you've not only soiled your uniform, you've made yourself look foolish in front of all these people. You did this. I was teaching you a valuable lesson about survival, Dave. Now, pay close attention. You'll see why this does more than just save lives. Yep. It's Gore-Tex, water repellent and fully breathable. They developed it for the Apollo Moon program, you know. What would the Apollo Moon program want with something water repellent and breathable? Well, they developed it for the SAS then. All right, crisis over, everyone. Nothing to see here. Okay, hit me there. Give it your best shot. Nice try. Not good enough. Thanks for your time. Mind how you go. So, dead meat. You seen the sidewalk sniper yet? They say he's got a bullet with your name on it. You know, I'm getting sick of this bollocks. There is no sidewalk sniper. And for your information, you're just as much at risk as I am. I beg to differ, Dave. Your head? Stupid twat. What if they shoot you in the head? Hey, how are you gonna deal with that? What if they shoot you in your stupid head? You touched me. 
Ah, but what if I were a crazed police-hating psychopath? You touched me. I've warned you about this. Come here! Who's the boss? Who's the boss, eh? You, you are. <coughs> okay. Now I've established that, let's get back to work. All I was saying was that your head isn't protected. They could get you there. Pow! Between the eyes. I don't think so. It's true. You're forgetting it's been shown that in 95% of shootings, gun criminals target the torso area. Ah, yes! I was right! Vindication! Oh, crap.